And it seems that they are about to, some of them have a mud wallow, others have already had one. Yeah, I must say, uh, myself and Morgan have seen so many of these young warthogs. Actually, just five minutes ago, we drove past two adult females with two litters together, and there were eight little warthogs. Very cute. And you just see them running in a straight line. So that's really cute. Okay, so on a day like today, being so nice and warm, and the sun being quite harsh, yeah, these wallows are an absolute invite to some of the animals, like warthog. And to get in the mud, it must be so relieving. Hey, Itsy, yeah, made famous by the Lion King, 100%. Yeah, it's uh, quite a strange one. I remember taking some guests out once upon a time, and uh, I said, this is a warthog, and they were from another country. They didn't understand what a warthog was. You could see that there was a bit of confusion. So I said, Pumba from the Lion King, and they acknowledged that, but then they sort of felt that I was mocking the animal. And not at all, because in East Africa, in the Swahili language, Pumba means a warthog. So it's just another African name given to uh, a warthog. Made famous, of course, by the Lion King. Ah, Red Heart Tobias coming in there. Hilda, we are most definitely watching these animals live. Um, I did think that during the sunrise, sun, sunrise and sunset safari, I was thinking, oh, I wonder where those dogs are, but these dogs are most definitely 100% live. Isn't that amazing? We're sitting here and showing you wild dogs all over the world from Juma Game Reserve. That one looks a bit scrappy. You can see his coat is kind of not the cleanest. He's got oh, he's got some flies flying around him. He's, uh, maybe still dirty from the morning's meal. He wanted to come and cool himself down, but has also decided to add to the puddle that he's probably going to have a bath in. <laughs> Kids, please don't try this at home. <laughs> you can hear the water. <laughs> and that was what I don't. I I don't understand. I thought he was going to go and lie in the water or cool himself down a bit, but obviously he didn't want to wet himself while going to the bathroom. I'm so happy we found Tortoise Pan, the male leopard. We followed his tracks all the way coming towards on Shabamu Road, coming from the southern side, and then he came all the way up this side. A big male leopard one of our dominant males of this area. Oh, look at him. He's a brute. Beautiful. Isn't that stunning? What a boy. I've got my rosettes. It all worked out. But look at that. Sniffing around, or picking up on the scent of something, yeah? Mm -mm. Kelly, yes. Uh, I am so stoked for this afternoon. So fine. Oh, what is Comet looking at there? Oh, 
once down the road. I don't know, Comet seems to be looking at something, but I don't see anything down there. Let me just have a quick squeeze with my binoculars. Oh, we've got some wild dogs coming down the road, folks. Let's see, maybe they come past us. Obviously, we can't move too much because the... Oh, oh there another we. hyena. Another hyena coming running down towards us. What's happening? See, there's one straight ahead, some just to the left. Yes, a lot of action so early in the morning. Look at him jumping, look at him jumping. He's checking for the impala close by. This impala is scattered. Just come across a family of jackal. There's four in total. And these ones that you're looking at are the youngsters. It's funny how we actually came across these jackal this morning. We saw the adults, you know, walking in the road. And then I think it was the adult. No, no, it was one of the youngsters was walking in the road. And then suddenly took off and then we saw the others in the bush but they were flicking their tails almost as if they had a kill they might have it might have been a mouse or something but i didn't see them swallow it and they were having almost like a celebration there but things have calmed down nicely and uh, it doesn't seem like they're going to move too much all right and these ones watching the adults very carefully <laughs> oh one is moving looking very well fed look at that tummy my goodness <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Looks like he doesn't have any friends. You know, if there's other youngsters usually in the herd, you always find the young ones always having a little bit of. Uh, I'm going to say play time with one another. Well, I guess uh, this youngster has made his own ways of. Oh, he's got it on the head. Well done. Oh, no, don't take it off. You just. <laughs>